Hey, Zach from the barbellphysio.com here. I want to take a minute and tell you about the ultimate mobility checklist and how it can help improve your sports performance and mobility. Right now in the sports world, there's a lot of great resources out there for athletes wanting to improve their movement, wanting to improve their mobility, and of course, ultimately improve their performance. The problem that I see is that athletes are choosing random corrective exercises and random mobility movements rather than truly addressing the areas that they need to focus on. That's going to delay their results and lead to them not making as much progress as they should. And that's where the ultimate mobility checklist comes into play. I've compiled a resource for you of different joint specific mobility tests that you can run on yourself or with a partner and better game plan what you need to do to improve your mobility and your movement patterns. The squat's a great example of that. And let's break that out real quick for you so you can see how the ultimate mobility checklist is going to be a game changer for you. On a nearly daily basis, I talk to athletes that have limitations with their squat pattern. One of the most common complaints I hear with the squat is that an athlete feels like they have tightness in their hips. And quite often when I break that out, we'll actually find out that their hip mobility is good, that it's their ankle mobility that will limit them. And let, let's break that down a little bit because it's a good example of why you need to have a great game plan to improve your mobility and movement patterns. Whenever we're doing a barbell loaded squat movement, we want the barbell to stay right over the middle of the foot. That's going to let the athlete stay balanced in their squat. On the left, we've got an example of good ankle and hip mobility where the athlete can easily keep that barbell over the middle of their foot. On the right, we've got not quite as good of ankle mobility written out. So in order for the barbell to stay over the middle of the foot and the thigh to still reach parallel, the athlete has to go through a greater degree of hip flexion to get into that parallel position with the barbell over the middle of their foot. This is a great example of why you need to take a systematic approach to analyzing your mobility so you choose the right areas to work on so you get the most benefit in the shortest amount of time. And that's where the ultimate mobility checklist comes in.